brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Self-determination has been brought to the forefront more than ever. We're excited here at the Guam Election Commission with what the Office of the Governor is doing because we're seeing our numbers go up in the decolonization registry. And with 74 people recently added to the over 9,000 person registry in the past month, GEC Executive Director Maria Pangilinan says it's a major improvement. It's bound to increase even more, as the GEC now has some help after training over five dozen cabinet members and government officials. So all these um, decolonization registrars are out there in the government agencies and they're now equipped to begin registering. Uh, folks for decolonization. It's very fitting because May was recently declared Decolonization Registry Month. Commission on Decolonization member and Independent for Guam Task Force leader Michael Bavakwa says signing people up for the registry is a great form of engagement. This new focus um, can produce a lot of good results because if you use the registry not just to put people's name on a list but also as a means to get out into the community, to give people information, to, you know, to, to give them the, the space to ask questions and then guide them towards resources. Uh, the registry can be very helpful in terms of keeping the conversation going. He says the commission and the political status task forces are working on producing brochures to hand out to people signing up for the registry in hopes of educating them on the different status options of statehood, independence and free association. He says education equals empowerment. If you kind of look around us, we think, oh, you know, we're a comfortable American colony. We don't really need to change anything or, you know, we're, we live pretty good. And so education is important to kind of sh help people see past that comfort and then really get into it. During a decolonization debate at Tizen High School last month, pre-debate polls revealed prior to any discussion or education on the status options, 51% chose statehood, 30% free association, and 19% for independence. Post-debate polls, however, showed both statehood and free association dipping, with independence jumping 34%, ultimately winning the debate. While more public meetings are being planned by the commission, Bavakwa says the Independence Task Force, at least, will be holding a teach-in at the University of Guam Lecture Hall from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on May 14th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.